Yes, I broke the Asus AXE 11000. See, these antennas are not removable because that's the rule for Wi-Fi 6E routers and I talked about it before, but I unintentionally managed to remove one. And this is what happened. The router was on this side of the desk as I was trying to do some stuff to make a video. But all of a sudden the back side of my chair hit the router and the router fell all the way down to the ground and landed on these two antennas. This is a heavy device and I kinda expect it to break into pieces. But to my surprise it didn't and only two things happened. One, this antenna completely popped out and two, the other antenna even though stayed inside completely jammed and stopped moving and turning. I tried to push back the antenna many times but it just wouldn't want to go back. I think the accident might have deformed the antenna cover and I just don't want to push it any harder because it can break it completely. That and also the fact that the cable which is connecting the antenna to the main board of the router could also have been damaged or disconnected because of the impact. I decided I should open the router to do a little bit of inspection and see what is going on inside. Obviously opening any wireless router has its own risks. For example, it will void the manufacturer's warranty. Mine is already out of warranty, so I'm fine with that. Well, first things first, I need to use some kind of opening tools. There are a total of 8 screws that I need to remove, but only one of them is visible. The rest of them is hidden behind the rubber feet or this label. I will do my best to remove them in one piece so I can later on attach them again. A quick inspection shows that four antennas have gray cables and the other four which are on the other side and the broken antenna is one of them use black cables. Now I can guess one side is for the combined 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz antennas and the other side is for the 6 GHz antennas. I can also see what it seems to be a ninth internal and hidden antenna which is very interesting. Now, the cable for the antenna in question is actually hidden behind this heatsink. So, the heatsink has to be removed in order to have access to the cable. The cable and the connector seem to be in a good shape. I'm just gonna disconnect it so I can remove the antenna and fix the deformed plastic part before I can push it back into place. It was just now a little bit noisy if I wanted to turn the antenna, but applying a little bit of good old WD-40 fixed that problem and also fixed the other completely jammed antenna. I did also apply a little bit of thermal paste before installing the heatsink. I didn't have to but I just happened to have some and hopefully this can help with reducing the heat a little bit. So my ASUS GTAXE11000 was fixed. 
I was very lucky though that nothing was actually physically broken. But the fact that if you drop this very heavy wireless router, there's a good chance that it will land on one or more antennas, because obviously it is surrounded with antennas that are not removable, makes me think that right now there should be some Asus GTAX E11000 out there, maybe a lot of them with broken or missing antennas. That makes me wonder if this spider looking design is not after all very practical, at least from the customer's point of view. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you have a similar story you want to share. I really want to hear those. Either way, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.